Hi, I'm Nicole. Hi, I'm Samantha. And we're both born and raised in Australia. And we're both converted to Islam. Now we're going to tell you a bit about our journey. So I'm going to start off with asking Samantha some questions about Islam and she's going to um, answer me and see how it's influenced her life. Um, so I'm going to ask you first off, how did you learn about Islam? How did you come across Okay, Islam? well, um, as you know, like in the media, there's sort of negative things about mm -hmm. Islam. Um, but, you know, I didn't sort of pay attention to that. And um, one of my friends was a Muslim. Mm -hmm. And so I just started wanting to know more about the religion and, you know, get to know it a bit. And, um, yeah, um, I'd learned about a year, for a year mm -hmm. before I converted. Mm -hmm. and hmm. Cool. So when, when did you convert? Um, I actually converted yesterday. Yay! So, yeah, thank God. And, um, yeah, it's been really great. Yeah, so you're very, very new <laughs> to very Islam. So she's... <laughs> Are you liking it so far? Yes, I'm yeah. loving it. I've yeah. just been so much happier these last two That's days. Good. And yeah. yeah, no, it's been really good. And how did your so, mum sort of take it when you let her knee? Um, yeah. I think my mum saw it coming as mm -hmm. well because, um, you know, I sort of, you know, dropped hints and I talked yeah. about Islam with her and she knew I was studying yeah. it. Um, so when I did, you know, she was obviously quite shocked, but she was really supportive mm -hmm. and she said, you know, whatever makes you happy. That's so. good. It's nice to yeah. have supportive parents. Yes, definitely. <laughs> Um, so you've never been to the Middle East, you don't travel no. to the Middle East, no, 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 no nothing no. like that, nothing so, like that. Yeah. so do you ever want to go to the Middle East? Um, yeah, you know, yeah. in the future. Yeah. Um, so how, I mean, no, that you've only, you just, you just need to Islam yes. and everything, how do you think um, that it will influence your life or how has it already influenced your life somehow? Oh, wow, wow, um, I think it's influenced my life, I'm a lot, um, and, um, I guess, you know, when you have that faith, you, mm -hmm. you, um, look at life, you know, in a different way and um, the things that you do, you know, the, the way you talk, you know, everything. It's like a, it's a way of life. So, yeah. you know, everything that's, it's in Rather than like just sort of a religion, religion that you yeah. do on something on Saturday or Friday. Yeah, exactly. Or like that. Yeah, it's just like one day yeah. and just forget about it yeah. and I'm nothing like yeah, that. Yeah, definitely. So, yeah. That's cool. Um, so what do you think, how do you think um, is, um, um, like, is, has influence on women's lives compared to men. Do you think it like oppresses women, or do you think um, it liberates women, or how no, do you feel no, about that sort of thing? Um, actually, most of the converts to Islam is from women. Yeah, women. So, yeah. Um, no, actually, you know, I was one of those girls that um, mm -hmm. I'd walk around in my little boob tube and my short shorts mm -hmm. and everything. So, you know, I've been there, and um, yeah, no, I, I believe that's oppressed. Mm -hmm. You know, right now I have I can control who looks at me in that way. You yeah. know, I'm covering. You cannot see my body, and yeah. I think that's very liberating for a person mm -hmm. as well. Um, I feel a lot better. I feel more safer. Yeah. You know, I know it's only been it's, my second day, but yeah. And I think there's nothing more beautiful than a woman who respects herself and covers herself for her husband and keeping her her image pure yes. and clean. Um, and I think a lot now. I mean, I've I've been I converted to Islam also about five years ago, um, mm -hmm. and I found that um, it has liber liberated me a lot. Um, I feel that. Um, before, I think we're quite, Western women especially, we face with a lot of images in the media and... Um, we, we sort of just like follow that. Yeah, you know we mean? follow just that. Like we that's follow the, that. the way that we had to yeah, be, that's that we it. felt, yeah. to get like, accepted. Yeah, I mean, you see, you drive down the street, you see billboards with like half-naked women on it. You, yeah, especially on the beaches here, there's so many girls in bikinis and, and things like that. It's just, it's quite... Um, there's a lot of pressure on young girls, yeah. like on magazines and that, to be skinny, to be yeah. thin. To you know, that's why you know a lot of a um, lot of sorry teenagers are getting bulimia and anorexia yeah. and everything yeah. because they're telling us that for a guy to love us or to be accepted, we mm. need to to dress like yeah, that to, and to be yeah to be beautiful yeah to be beautiful. And also, um, I noticed a lot of things as well. And, and being both being um, non-Muslim before, yes. uh, you know, I I was obviously raised in an atheist um, background, so yeah. my parents did not believe in God. Um, they I was never baptized or anything. Um, which was quite hard for me when I first converted because um, trying to explain to my parents that um, you know I believed in God and which I was taught we really like about evolution I was taught that we literally come from monkeys and once we did we sort of worm food so it wasn't yeah. a very good idea you know I yeah. sort of started looking for the answers and that and I found that Islam gave me the right answers and always had the answers there to you know that was it was very logical like, yeah very logical know, Islam is just very logical scientifically proven yeah, and scientifically things like that and yeah it was Yep. Yeah, so yeah. it has really, I think it's both liber liberated us um, yes, very much. Yes. I know me, it has given me a lot more confidence in myself, a lot more um, self respect and I think, drive. I think in life. we work um, in, like, sort of in the inside more than the outside now. Yeah. Like, it's not just about People, you know, it, how we look. When you wear a scarf, I mean, it, it is almost not just about the scarf, but when you, for a woman to wear a scarf, it's. it's Forces people to respect you for who you are rather than what you look like. Because just respecting yourself, people yeah. respect you. Yeah, so. that's it. And also, people don't see, you know, what colour our hair is or anything like that. You know, only our husbands um, and yeah. our first relatives that get to see that. So, yeah. you know, I think that's, I think that's really, really good. It is, it is yeah. So. Um, well, I'm actually from, as in a comment, she's from atheist background. I'm actually from a Catholic background, and um, 
yeah, you know, a lot of the things that I didn't believe, you know, you know when you actually find your religion and you just, you want to see the logic and you want someone not to just say, just believe, you know, you want to see why. And um, I found with, you know, being Catholic, mm. um, you know, they say believe in, for instance, um, Jesus is the son of God, you know, I, I don't see the logic mm. in that, you know, and you have to, you have to pray to Jesus, you have to pray to Mary and you're not praying um, to God and I was, yeah, that's something yeah. I really did understand yeah. as well. So, um, you know, Islam for me, as soon as I had, you know, you believe in one God, that captured me because yeah. it was just like, you know what, that's true. I yeah. mean, how can you deny that? That, yeah. that makes sense. So, yeah, that's it. Yeah. <clears throat> and always I think with, um, you know, um, with Islam, like if you can't drink alcohol, you know, you ask someone why and it's not just because you can't, because it's forbidden. They had an answer why, I mean, why can't you eat pork because this is the answer why, because, you know, pork is unclean to us. You know, um, different things, everything, we had a question to, there was always a logical answer and it was always put there in front of us in the Quran yeah. or, you know, some other way or another, it was there written in front of us rather than, I think with a lot of, because um, I explored Christianity a little bit as well and I just went over, I asked a question, it was never really properly answered, it was all, you know, gone about someone's opinion on something rather than what it actually was. That's the facts. Yeah. And also another thing about Islam is a very, very clean religion. You know, you before you pray, you purify yourself. And, you know, it's just very, very clean. Very, yes. very clean religion, which is, is great. Because yes. I know, um, yeah, I know that. Especially <laughs> Australians. Yeah. You know, no. Sometimes, yeah. So, it no. is. And plus, because you're not drinking alcohol and you're not doing any of that, you feel cleaner as well. Yeah, you're very, it's very, yes. very purifying. It's so yeah, so that's a little bit about us and um, stay tuned for more videos and we're sure to put some more out and our journeys about Islam and we want to hopefully put out some things about um, other people's perspectives on Islam and in Australia as well because, um, you know, I know there's uh, the growing population is, is, is getting bigger, yeah, isn't it? Yeah, yeah. Mm -hmm. so Definitely. that's all from us, so Thank salam. You. Salam. Bye. Bye.